When I started planning my latest layout, I had two key goals in mind. To create a rail fanning experience to focus on continuous running trains, and to build an atmospheric world that captures the mystery of a late autumn day. I've been fascinated with passenger trains since childhood, ever since my first ride on Via Rail's original LRC. Today, that fascination includes Via Rail's modern fleet and GO Transit's bi-level coaches. This layout brings that mood to life, with trains constantly moving through a landscape made of overcast skies, autumn leaves, and that haunting feeling you get on October 31st. If you followed along with the teardown of my previous layout, you know I had to make some tough decisions to start fresh. This new design is a combination of everything I've learned in that process. If you missed that chapter, I recommend checking it out to see where this journey begins. Reflecting on my previous layout, I'm implementing key changes. A double track mainline for smoother operations, fewer elevations to simplify construction, minimal hidden track to keep everything visible, and varied scenic elements to enrich the atmosphere. I've planned the track arrangement using SCARM software and confirmed the dimensions in Adobe Illustrator. Now, I'm building a scale model to help visualize the entire plan. The layout is an L-shaped, continuous running figure eight design that fits into a space of 18 feet by 10 feet. It's built around three principal passenger stations, Union Station, West Harbor Station, and Aldershot Station. Union Station is proto-freelance, inspired by Vancouver's Pacific Central Station. While it's not a replica of Toronto Union Station, I'm going to try to capture the grand, bustling terminal feel while maintaining the operational simplicity of a stub end station. Above the platform, an elevated city will sit, similar to cities like Chicago, lit up to create a subtle, eerie nighttime effect. West Harbor Station is modeled with more prototypical accuracy, reflecting its smaller size and unique geography. Opposite West Harbor Station, I've incorporated a condensed version of Stewart Yard. This allows me to expand operations to include CN freight services, just like the prototype, and adds variety to the layout providing a contrast between passenger-focused stations and industrial yards. The yard is all heavy-duty freight, with black CN engines adding industrial grit to the atmosphere. In stark contrast, West Harbor feels subdued, with passenger trains slipping in and out quietly, almost unnoticed amid the industrial energy of the yard. The McQuestion Bridge introduces a water feature and breaks up the urban scene. Aldershot Station will serve as the third stop, providing an intermediate point for both GO Transit and Via Rail services traveling between Union and West Harbour. While the GO Transit and Via Rail platforms are active, there's a derelict platform originally constructed by CN that sits cut off from the public and is slowly fading into disrepair. This forgotten platform adds to the eerie atmosphere, contrasting sharply with the busier Union and Harbour stops. The east side of the layout will be packed with details. Compressed downtown Toronto elements like the covered train shed, Spadina Bridge, and a representation of the Bathurst flyunder. Streets shift and climb, creating layers of city with trains weaving through and beneath it all. This will be about contrast. Freight versus passenger, grit versus quiet. Each element adding layers of story and atmosphere wrapped up in the haunting tones of late October. I've opted for a setup that prioritizes reliability and flexibility. The layout will be wired for DCC, but because most of my equipment is currently DC, I'm starting with the DC setup to get as many trains moving as possible from the start. Simple block wiring will help manage the operation with manual turnout control in the yards and perhaps power switches for some key areas. 
using Pico Code 80 turnouts and Pico Code 55 track, allowing for smooth, continuous running. When designing this layout, I made a clear choice. I'm going to run the equipment I love spanning multiple eras. From early F units to the latest Venture train sets, I want the freedom to run whatever trains fascinate me without being constrained by a specific time period. The layout isn't designed to lock me into a single era. Instead, it's about creating a space where I can enjoy everything from Via Rail's early turbo train to Go Transit's by levels and beyond. But no matter what era of trains I'm running, there's one thing that will be staying the same. This layout will always be set on October 31st, Halloween. After tearing down my last layout, I have given a lot of thought to what I really want this time around. It's not just about running trains, it's about creating an experience. The trains are moving through this world, but everything else will feel still. Overcast skies, quiet streets, and tracks cutting through the stillness. Hopefully this layout pulls together everything I love about trains and storytelling. Welcome to the Union Harbor Express.